Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of General Surgery Medici. Today we are going to discuss about lymphedema, mainly concentrating on the clinical stages, grades and uh, classification. Lymphedema is defined as abnormal lymph swelling caused by accumulation of increased amounts of high protein rich fluid in the interstitial space secondary to defective lymphatic drainage in the presence of normal net capillary filtration. So the key words are limb swelling due to accumulation of high protein rich fluid in the interstitial space secondary to defective lymphatic drainage in presence of normal net capillary filtration. Coming to the pathophysiology, impaired lymphatic drainage can be due to lymphatic aplasia, hypoplasia, dysmotility and obliteration of lymphatic. This can also be secondary to surgery. Lymphedema can be divided into three clinical stages. In first stage, there will be impaired lymphatic drainage. This will lead on to accumulation of high protein rich fluid in the interstitial compartment. So this will clinically manifest as soft pitting edema. So in the first stage, the edema will be soft and pitting in nature. Coming to the second stage, there will be accumulation of fibroblast, adipocyte, macrophages in the affected tissue. This will lead on to local inflammatory response causes structural changes in the tissue. So the edema will be more pronounced in second stage and it will be non-pitting and spongy in consistency. And in the third stage, there will be further injury to the local tissue due to inflammatory response as well as recurrent infectious episodes. This will injure the remaining competent lymphatics. So the edema become progressive in nature and is associated with the excessive subcutaneous fibrosis and scarring. That is, there will be severe irreversible skin changes in third stage. One thing you have to remember is that unlike other edema, lymphedema will be confined to epifacial space. Important point to remember is that lymphedema confined to epifacial space. Coming to the signs and symptoms, as you all know, lymphedema can be associated with constant dull leak. Sometimes patient may experience severe pain. There may be burning and bursting sensation, sensitivity to heat, pins and needles sensation, cramps, skin problem like flakiness, weeping, excoriation and in patients with rheumatoid arthritis there may be backache, joint problems and lymphedema associated with infectious condition. There may be acute infective episodes or athletes foods. If the lymphedema involves the food, there are some important clinical signs you can elicit. First is the loss of contour of the angle. This is known as tree trunk pattern. Then patient may develop a buffalo hum on the dorsum of the foot. And there will be square toes due to confinement of the footwear. And skin on the dorsum of toes cannot be pinched. This is due to subcutaneous fibrosis and known as stemmer sign. Lymphedema usually spread proximally to the knee level and in early stages it will be pitting and edema will decrease in the morning hours. In this picture you can see loss of contour of the ankle known as tree trunk pattern, buffalo humping on the dorsum of the foot and square toes due to confinement of the footwear. Other uh, signs that you can elicit in advanced stages of lymphedema are fibrosis and dermal thickening associated with hyperkeratosis, chronic eczema, fungal infections of the skin and nails, fissuring, verruque. Ulcerations are unusual in case of uh, lymphedema, unlike venous edema, ulcerations are unusual. Now coming to clinical grading of lymphedema, according to Brenner, lymphedema is divided into four grades. First is the subclinical or latent grade where there is excess interstitial fluid accumulation and histological abnormalities in the lymphatics and lymph node but no clinically apparent lymphedema. 
so in the subclinical or latent grade there is histological abnormality but no clinically apparent lymphedema in grade 1 there will be pitting edema edema pits on pressure and swelling largely or completely disappear on elevation and bed rest in grade 2 edema does not pit and does not significantly reduced upon elevation and in grade 3 edema is associated with irreversible skin changes like fibrosis and papillae formation in this picture you can see a grade 3 lymphedema associated with irreversible skin change like severe fibrosis and papillae formation so after completion of clinical staging and grading we are moving on to most important portion of today's lecture that is clinical classification of lymphedema lymphedema is primarily divided into primary lymphedema and secondary lymphedema primary lymphedema is due to unknown etiology and secondary lymphedema is due to a known cause Primary lymphedema, the proposed etiology can be congenital lymphatic dysplasia and aplasia. It may also be due to barefoot walking. Primary lymphedema affects legs common than arms. Why? Because effect of gravity, bipedal posture of human beings, less developed lymphatics in the lower limb when compared to arms, increased susceptibility to infection and trauma, loss of veno arteriola reflex with increased age and associated diseases primary lymphedema can again classified based on genetic susceptibility age of onset and lymphangiographic findings based on genetic susceptibility primary lymphedema is divided into lymphedema with genetic susceptibility and without genetic susceptibility Lymphedema with the genetic susceptibility again divided into familial and syndromic. In syndromic lymphedema, lymphedema will be one of the several other congenital abnormalities associated with that particular syndrome. In syndromic primary lymphedema, lymphedema will be one of the other congenital abnormalities associated with that particular syndrome. Syndromic lymphedema can be sporadic or inherited. Examples for sporadic syndromic primary lymphedema are Turner syndrome, Kleinefelter syndrome, Down syndrome, etc. As you all know, there are several manifestations associated with this syndrome and lymphedema will be one of the manifestations. And example for inherited syndromic primary lymphedema are lymphedema distichiasis. Here there is single gene defect and triple trinoni fibre syndrome where the gene defect is uncertain. But these two syndromes can be inherited to progenies. Unlike syndromic, in familial lymphedema, the only abnormality is lymphedema and there is positive family history. There are two main forms of familial, heredit familial or hereditary lymphedema that is type 1 familial or Nudi Milroy disease, type 2 familial or Leticia Meek disease. Coming to Milroy disease, this is an autosomal dominant disease. Here there is abnormality in gene coding for vascular endothelial growth factor located in chromosome number 5. There will, there will be brownie edema of both legs and this develops from birth or before puberty. There are associated lymphatic abnormalities like hypoplasia or aplasia. In Meek's disease, this is also similar to Milroy disease only, but this developed between puberty and middle age. Here, one or both legs are affected and arms are also be affected. And here also there is associated lymphatic aplasia or hypoplasia. Based on age of onset, lymphedema is divided into three types, congenital lymphedema, lymphedema precox and lymphedema data. Congenital lymphedema occurs at or within two years of birth. Males are affected more common than females and it is bilateral and whole leg is affected. In lymphedema precox it occurs between 2 to 35 years of age. Females affected more common than males. 
it is usually unilateral and extend only up to knee level and in lymphedema tarda it occurs after 35 years of age obesity is one of the proposed uh, cause for lymphedema tarda and there are several unknown etiologies also in this type lymph nodes are replaced by fibrofatty tissue